intentional. You probably can like sit up a little taller so oh, I true. can so I don't look like a child. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's more balanced. And I was like, "Hi, mom." I, I can, I can probably adjust the the camera. That would probably be easier. Hold oh, on, that's on, nice. On. It'll stay. Uh, it'll stay. This is, we're gonna, gonna we're like, gonna keep right. I know. That's, that's better. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Okay. Now we're not on completely yeah. different levels. Okay. Sit up and be your height. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Behind the Bikini. Um, we are on episode 62, and I did check that prior, so I know that is correct. Right. And if you couldn't tell, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> best of it she gets. I know, I know, right? I was like, well, I gotta find something orange, and I've got my I've got my pumpkin mug here. So, so cute. Yeah. There's pumpkin. another one that goes with it. This is morning, so it says morning pumpkin, mm. you know. So I saw somebody post a mug this morning. It said, "Witch, please." Yeah, I got, I got other ones too, but you know, I got to no. do something fun for Halloween. So, not my normal co-host right here. Hi, my name is not Jordan. <laughs> no, Jordan is still on vacation. She's uh, somewhere in Europe right now. I don't know exactly where, but she's somewhere in Europe right now. In the Dior store. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, oh, um, so I thought I'd bring in Jennifer, which is. Um, I've been working with you since your very first closing session. <laughs> so cuts to terrible. I know, footage. right? I know. Well, if we if you send me that, I'll I'll splice that in here and edit that in. <laughs> I just threw up a little bit in my mouth, but I was not stuff. You couldn't tell me anything. No, no, no. She um she definitely thought she that's because she was, was it was it yeah yeah yeah. I was like, okay, we're gonna throw all that away. <laughs> I was like, really? You don't like it? <laughs> no, I was totally an open book. Like, yeah, okay, okay. but I remember even the, from the very first phone call, you were like, you're stuck with me forever now. And mm -hmm. here we are. How many years? Like four years later or whatever oh it is. Gosh, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And it's crazy how fast time has gone too. And I think about that, that feels like it was just yesterday. So mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're wow. going to talk a little bit about her whole journey, how she got into the sport, what she's doing now. She is an IPB pro now. So she did win her pro card um, a couple of years ago now at this yeah. point. Um, and what we're, what we're prepping for going forward. We're both still in prep. So for those of you that followed along, um, we both did the Georgia Southern Muscles showdown just a few mm -hmm. weeks ago. Um, she's doing another show in two weeks. I'm doing another one in five weeks. I was just in my check-in this morning and I was like, I was looking at the calendar. I was like, five weeks feels like so long. Mm -mm. You say that, and then you blink, and then it's two weeks. I know, but I'm still like I'm stage ready, so I feel like yeah, I'm like that's true. I said that to my coach this morning, the check, and I was like, I feel like I could get on stage tomorrow. You know what I mean? Jeez. Like I haven't gained weight or anything like that. So we always do this. We always do little prep updates and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I'll do mine first, and then we'll kind of go into yours and talk sure. about what we're doing with your with your prep currently and all that stuff too. So, um, so yeah, so I am still on track for December show. I did just do my check in today. I don't know actually if I'm going to get a, a response from Jamie or not because she's on vacation too. She mm -hmm. like it's the whole crew; they're over there just like, chilling. So um, I don't necessarily need a response this week, to be honest with you, because I'm just going like this. I'm cruising. Um, so since Georgia, my macros have just continued to be increased, and my cardio has continued to drop, uh, and my weight is the same. <laughs> so. <laughs> Now, when I look at my photos, like I can see the body composition is just a little bit different. Like uh -huh. I'm not quite as like grainy, hard, lean. Mm -hmm. um, the weight is the same, but my composition is slightly different because I've got more carbs. I've got more fat. My protein is about the same. Yeah. But, you know, my whole goal in this interim between the two shows was to be able to push as much food as possible. So that, that way I could try to fill out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and I do feel like that's happening. I you know, say that's what you're seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that and then also like we've been really focused on mobility work big time because um, I, I know with myself, I see it on you, but I also feel it on myself. Mm -hmm. um, I was I've always had a hard time with flexibility as far as like twisting and turning correctly and tilting and all this kind of stuff. Um, I've done body work. I've done my own mobility work. I've done massage therapy. I've done all this stuff, but I've never really like dedicated and focused on it yeah. till now. Cause I, you know, it really, to me, when I was looking at my photos and stuff in Georgia, I really saw the issues as far as mm -hmm. the impingements and stuff like that. So like, there's some things that I have control over going into the next show. Can't build a lot of muscle in two weeks or two months. You know what I mean? But I can fix some problems. Yeah. So, you know, really been dedicating going, getting massage work done every, every week, really, mm -hmm. at this point, weeks, 10 days, I'm getting another massage done. Um, same thing with the dry needling. I'm doing dry needling now on my, on my glutes and everything like that every, every week 
once a week. Yeah. Um, going on cool toning. Cool toning is getting in and, and activating the glutes deeper once I've gotten muscle open. My mind is still blown that you do all of these things and then go murder glutes. I'm like, <laughs> I would be dead somewhere. <laughs> well, that's the whole point. It's Crazy. like you open, you open everything up yeah. so that you can then build it, you know? Yeah. So, um, I, I mean, I see, I see it. Like I see yeah. the results again. It's not like, it's not, I haven't put weight on at all. Mm -hmm. Zero, no weight, but the composition is different. And, you know, this is something that I talk to my clients about all the time. You included, it's like, sometimes it's not even about the weight. It's what the weight is comprised of. Mm -hmm. We've seen that with you this mm -hmm. year. So nothing crazy this week other than I'm just seeing stuff really start to open up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really starting to see my front poses come come out more like my left pose. I've always had a hard time with twisting, rotating, um, and keeping the glute pop. Now I've got both. And that's just because I've been focusing on the mobility aspect of it. So you guys, I know I've preached this a lot, but it's, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. You can see the results. You yeah. can feel it too. Like yeah. for me, I feel better in those poses. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can twist easier. I can hold it easier. It almost feels like it's too easy a little oh. bit. So are you feeling, you're not feeling that on your poses? <laughs> no, I'm like, <laughs> I'm not there yet. No, but you know, because you do have me rehearsing the yeah, yeah, bad, bad side. side. I hate to use yeah. the word bad. So I just say opposite, the yeah. opposite mm -hmm. side. Cause mentally yeah, I side, want it to yeah. be yeah, yeah, yeah. weak. Like I just want there to be like positive connotation mm -hmm. around it. So that like, if, and when we got to pull it out on stage, I'm not in my head thinking, oh, this, this is my bad side. Bad side yeah. You know? No, that's true. You know, we, the way you mentally frame it yeah. definitely makes a difference for yeah. sure. But channeling that side now, when I go to my dominant side, mm -hmm. it feels easier. Not yes. easy, but easier. No, I agree. I agree. You know? I'm the same way. Like, to be honest, like, I, and other than when I'm checking in, I don't really do my dominant side much anymore as mm -hmm. far as my practice is concerned because I'm trying to condition my, my weaker side. Yeah. Um, but when I went to go hit it this morning, I was like, wow, this actually feels really easy to hit. Like, wow. you know, like I see the, how the lines are different on either mm -hmm. side. And I'm like, the only reason why I hit that dominant side before is because I have more muscle on that side yeah. and I'm thicker on that side. But as far as the flow is concerned, the flow is a lot better on my other side. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that's happened over the course of the last few years is I've built the muscle up. So my left side, even though it used to look like I'm really skinny, yeah. doesn't anymore. Yeah. Um, one of the reasons why I'm confident in that too is because I did put it on stage in Daytona. It wasn't as for best sure. in Daytona because I hadn't, hadn't practiced for it. But because I put it up there, I saw, I'm like, oh, actually I do have enough muscle over yeah. here. I just have to really condition it to be, to be doable yeah so i don't feel like i'm gonna fall over when well and you were on stage i don't know for like an hour total of showtime so you got to play around with yeah. all the poses yeah and again going back to like that's one of the great things about having extra stage time like i kind of wish that we could always do that and always do multiple classes um because going back to both daytona and georgia but in georgia you know they kept us on stage forever mm -hmm. literally forever mm -hmm. So by the time we got done with everything, I was like, oh, this is easy now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it, it's, it's odd because I was like, I, I didn't feel any more fatigued or tired in Georgia than I did in Daytona. I actually felt worse in Daytona, like as far as fatigue was mm -hmm. concerned. And I don't know exactly why that is other than I just think I, I think I had it mentally framed differently. We were just talking about like, yeah. My, my thought process in Georgia was like, well, let me try this and let me try that and let me try this and let's see what happens. And you know what I mean? I literally did all of my sides in Georgia, all of them. I was like, let's, try, yeah. like, judges. I was like, let's try this transition. Just, I was in the, I <laughs> just mean, like they're choreographing stuff. I did. I literally did. I was like, okay, I'm going to go out. Like, because they put us out. They, That's so During fun. finals, they had us do comparisons and, and our routines and everything again, which oh they don't always gosh. do that. Yeah. So I was like, well, I might as well use this as an opportunity mm -hmm. to figure out what we're doing. So, yeah, so I did. I was like, well, this feels good. That doesn't, you know, whatever. Yeah. And it was like, it was, I mean, I wish I could do that more often because there's nothing that you can, that compares to stage time. Right. So, um, you know, Ashley Caldwell talks about this on her, on her podcast sometimes where she's like, you know, I like going on stage because you can't replicate that anywhere. Nothing else, mm -hmm. nothing else compares to that. I mean, we, we do group classes every mm -hmm. Sunday, all that kind of stuff. Super helpful. But yeah, but it's same. still not the same. Not it's the same. still not the same. The lights, the adrenaline, yeah. just everything. Dealing with the tan, dealing with the fatigue of the show day, all mm -hmm. those kinds of things. And, and you just can't, you can't replicate that. Mm -hmm. You just can't. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I wish I could do it a few more times before I go on stage again yeah. in December. So yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? 
All right, you guys, we are almost two weeks out from my show, so I have my skin prep ready from Liquid Sunrays. They've sent me my kit. Um, you have your exfoliating body towel. This is going to make your skin nice and smooth, um, not too rough on the exfoliating. pH balancing body wash, which is super, super important. You wanna make sure that your skin is pH balanced so it's going to absorb your tan perfectly. This is your charcoal sugar scrub which is the bomb this is my favorite product that liquid sunrays has right here and something about this it just makes that tan really soak in deep and then last but not least we have our liquid sunrays body lotion which you're going to put on every single time you get out of the shower and that's just going to put your skin into really good condition when it goes to actually get sprayed for the tan so we're starting this today and uh, making my skin perfect for that tan as we get into the competition season gonna do that but, just triggered a thought though i was thinking back to georgia when we were on stage together mm -hmm. and i'm so conditioned you know we think about like you were just talking about not being able to replicate show day in any other way we could have never practiced you being was, in the lineup while i'm in my call out and you hollering my cues at me. I, was, like, I was i was conditioned to look out to the audience yeah. and find where you are and listen for your voice out there and since you weren't out there i was looking at jamie i know and right? i'm like oh, she's not giving me any cues okay let me look at the head <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. oh they're watching my stomach oh, yeah. yikes you know yeah um but you were on the side i was i was literally, i was literally on the diagonal <laughs> yelling at her from on stage she's like could you hear me i'm like no I was only listening for the head judge at that point because my Sean wasn't out in the yeah, audience. Yeah. Well, the good thing is, is you know, we're doing Ben Weeder in yeah. two weeks, and so I will be in the audience for right. that one. Yep. <laughs> so we're good. We're good. You we, were, like, literally, you and the head judge are the only people I look for in the audience. That's so funny. That's it. Well, that's and that's, it. you know, that brings up a good point. It's like, I, you know, actually, Georgia was the first time that Jamie was ever there mm. for one of my shows. I'm mm -hmm. usually at the shows by myself. And, um, so I didn't, I didn't actually, I didn't see anybody. I didn't look for anybody in the audience at all. Mm. I looked straight at the judges the whole time. Yeah. So I think it depends on, for me, it depends on the, um, the actual venue itself mm -hmm. because yeah. that was a big expo hall. Yeah. So like the lighting was really, was really bright on stage too. So really all I could see was the judges. Yeah. You did have to, like, I had to focus to try yeah. and find like where Jamie and Greg were I couldn't sitting. find anybody. So I just said, okay, yeah. that's, that's literally what I did. I went on stage looking <laughs> and I couldn't, I couldn't see anybody. So I was like, it is what it is. I'm just going to look at the judges, whatever. And try out every pose in my book. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> 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 fun. I mean, I stuck to what I practiced yes. for the initial comparisons and all that stuff. But I'm talking about like finals. When we oh, came out yeah. for finals. Because again, I did three classes. I did open 35 and 40. So when I came out, I just tried everything. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, whatever. Because mm -hmm. they did, they pushed and they rejudged. Yeah. What did they, I think it was third, I think it was 40 and over that they re, yes, they rejudged 40 and over yeah. because the girl that won 40 and over got qualified for the Masters Olympia. So they rejudged 40 and over because they knew that was a qualifying, mm -hmm. that was a qualifying uh, division. Mm -hmm. So wild. Do what you got to do, you know? Yeah. So, and it was, it was it's a, a long weekend, time on stage. Yeah. So I was like, I might as well just, just figure this out and play with it. So yeah. that was, that also solidified, like I said, solidified in my head that I wanted to do the, the left hand side pose too. Mm -hmm. So just things like that. And again, I just saw things that if you weren't inside my body, you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even as a coach, like. Like I say all the time, as coaches, we try our best, but you're inside your body 24 seven. So mm -hmm. you've got to also be your own advocate mm -hmm. for this mm -hmm. stuff, you know, so you know what's going on better than anybody else. Yeah. Um, I'm, you know, at, if I'm your coach, I'm just going based on what I can see and what you're telling me. Yeah. You know, I just had this. Which you see a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I just had a conversation with one of my girls yesterday. She was, she was telling me that she started to break out on her face and mm -hmm. I was like, okay, well tell me, you know, nothing that we've done. She's kept, we've kept everything st um, steady with her prep. Yeah. Um, so I was, you know, just getting, having her ask me things, but nothing, or tell me things, but nothing she was telling me would indicate breakouts. Uh -huh. That said, she just had her blood drawn and she's getting her panel, um, evaluated think today I think okay. today's her call so i was like well just talk to joanna i said and once joanna has has told you what's going on then we can we can take from there i yeah. said because as far as what we're doing we haven't done anything different Nothing changed so yeah. 
I don't know. It could be it could be something internal that we're just not knowing. And mm-hmm. I don't I don't have enough knowledge to, to, to say what's going on inside your body. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is so. she drinking like filtered water? Maybe she needs to change her. Well, filter, and that was that was something or, like it could be something you know, very simple. Like yeah. I said to her, she started when she started getting the breakouts. She started wearing makeup. I was like, well, you realize that makeup makeup makes it worse. Uh huh. I said, so wash your face after yeah. the workout. So I said it could it could just be that you're just exacerbating a simple yeah. problem. You know, it could be, it could be that, but before we, before we decide what's going on and th- throw a bunch of shit up against the wall I and mean, you just had your blood, blood drawn, let's mm-hmm. figure out what's going on. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. I mean, that's the easiest way to do it. Yeah. So. Well, I'm yeah. bringing back in on the idea of you seeing so much, like my check-ins with you on Tuesday, you're like, uh-huh, yeah, your body just looks tight. <laughs> you see food? You're a little depleted. We're going to feed you this weekend. And I was like, oh, we're what? I know, right? Well, so let's 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 dive into that. So, yeah. um, you have been in prep since when? When did you actually, when did you actually start prep? April Fools. <laughs> so she's conveniently. Been, yeah, she's been in prep for a very long time. Yeah, so almost eight months. Yeah, the initial show, and this was before I was her coach. So the initial show that um, you were shooting for was Tampa. Yeah. So tell me what happened going into the Tampa show. Oh gosh, let's go back in the archives. What did happen? Um. I think I was putting a lot of unnecessary pressure on myself to feel like I had to be ready for it instead of just chilling Mm -hmm. and being like, no, sis, you're not ready yet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like let's, let's take a little more time, Yep, you know? So, and once we made that call Mm -hmm. and of course, you know, talking to you about it, talking to my coach at the time about it, I asked you all your opinions first without Mm -hmm. telling you where I was on it. Cause I didn't want there to be any, you know, bias in the way that you responded to me. Yep. Um, Talk to the, my trainer, coach, and you. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I mean, it just, it made sense to not yeah. do it. So I just felt such a weight of relief. My weight wasn't changing. I felt like my body wasn't changing. Like everything was just like at a hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the second we decided, don't trust about Tampa. There are more shows to come. We'll shoot for something later on. Because Tampa was what, August? Yeah, first week of August. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So then we're like, all right, we'll do something in September, yep. you know? Um, and as soon as that happened, it was just like, whew, yep, just a release. No, I remember that because as soon as you made the final decision where you were like, no, we're not going to do it, all of a sudden mm-hmm. your weight started dropping. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. And one of the three parties that I was consulting with was like, no, we can push, we can do it, we can push, we can do it. I'm like, we could. Yeah. But long term, what good is that going to do? Correct. You know what I mean? So, well, you know, and this is what I told you as far as from my vantage point. I said, yes, we can be ready. Mm -hmm. You can, you can can get on stage for Mm -hmm. sure, but you're not going to be at your best. Yeah. You know, and the whole point of doing Tampa was to get you in front of those judges, get you next to Olympians so that you could see yourself in comparison and you can get good feedback and things like that. And if we're stressing going into that right. show about being ready, that's not, not going to be a good thing. Yeah. You're not being your best out. Comparable. Right. You know? Right. So. Right. Uh, yeah. That was a good, it was a really good decision. Yeah. Um, so then, so made the decision to pull out and uh, not do, not do Tampa. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily pull out because you didn't actually. Yeah. I never submitted never, a contract. Never committed yeah. to it. So. It was penciled in on my calendar. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, and I was like, white out. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. You know, again, then the stress release went, and then all of a sudden your body started responding mm-hmm. really fast, actually, at that point. And yeah. then so decided to do um, Nashville Fit Show. So what happened in the That's weeks? Right. Yeah, the weeks leading into Nashville Fit Show. What happened leading into that? Um, my analysis, I think that I was ready early ish, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and then it still wasn't showtime, but we yeah. were still like cutting and pushing like I wasn't ready ish. Yep. And then I just looked sickly. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I yeah. Well I was you know not for, not for nothing, but when I when I showed up in in, in Nashville on Friday I was like, oh she's skinny. <laughs> I mean, the whole week, every yeah. day I woke up, I felt tiny, but yeah. I remember Friday morning cause I flew out Friday morning. Yeah. Um, Friday morning I woke up and I was my lowest weight. Mm-hmm. Like I was really low. Um, and I felt like I was like 125 pounds. Yeah. I wasn't, I was like 141. Yeah. Um, you gotta remember she's, little... she's the same height as me, like five, five, nine, five, eight. Oh, I claim five, eight. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're, you're I think you've got an inch on me. I do. I yeah. do have a little yeah. bit more on you. I have yeah. a little bit more. Five inches sounds mm-hmm. good. <laughs> <laughs> I might be five seven and a half. <laughs> but I yeah, you're, five you're definitely five. over the five seven and a half mark okay, for right. sure. For I'll sure. I'll take that. That said, though, if you guys didn't know this, when you get dehydrated and depleted, you do shrink. So just so you know, mm-hmm. just so you know, because yeah, because the pads of your feet they lose and your spine too, <gasps> the fluid in your spine. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything know. shrinks. So that was a big deal for classic physique competitors because they would go into weigh in and, you know, they'd be depleted and dehydrated and they would, they would end up in a, in a shorter class than where they actually should have been. So that's a big weight difference, you know? Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So after the first couple of years of classic physique, they changed the weight restrictions because of that aspect. Hmm. Yeah. So the more, you know, the more, you know, yeah. So, um, so yeah, so So yeah, it was a skinny little thing. Show morning. Well, show eve Mm -hmm. i guess that is and then you kind of tried to play catch up Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. on friday which didn't i mean you filled out a little bit i mean it helped yeah 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 Yeah, anything Um, anything was better than what was yeah well the thing and this is this is uh this is something that i have to deal with with clients all the time is they think that skinnier is better no and it's just not no no. it's just not um actually some of the comments when you came out on stage in in nashville was where'd her muscle go (laughs) 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 it's like Yikes. You know? Um, so but this is this is so this is the point where you decided to hire to hire me after yes. the show. Yeah. Yeah. So we immediately brought your activity down, your cardio or cardio down, your food up. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, because I was on 70 minutes. Yeah. 70 minutes going into yeah. peak. Yep. So yeah. every day. Yeah. Seven days a week. Yeah. And we, And I know that's still nothing compared to what we hear some competitors right. talk about. Like that's right. so in my mind I was like, Oh, this is nothing. I yeah. hear people talking about doing two hours still. Yeah. Like, oh we're good, yeah. you know? But um, when you were ready two weeks out, yeah. You didn't need to do all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's it's puts more stress on the body. Right. I wasn't doing proper rest. I wasn't doing proper recovery. I mean, yeah. you know, there's it there were things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There were yeah. things. Yeah. So that was the first thing we did. We gave you more food, all of that to start filling you out. And mm-hmm. immediately your body sucked it all up. Mm-hmm. Immediately sucked it all up. You know, and I, you know, I'm one of those coaches that I take a lot of, a lot of data. So yeah. like initially you were a little concerned about the weight going up and things like that. Yeah. I was like, but we need your weight to go up. Like, this is you filling back out. You're yeah. going to level back out. It's going to be okay. But, yeah. you know, we need, we need to, we need to do this right now. Yeah. So how many concerned, but never never um, oh no you still did it yeah like i never lacked confidence in the process yeah it was just oh this is different yeah you know yeah like, yeah yeah oh food? well and i'll say Sodium? this too because huh? yeah this is the biggest thing that competitors have a problem with is they shoot themselves in the foot mm-hmm. you know like i just said we know our bodies better than our coaches do we do 100 percent. however mm-hmm. you do have to trust the process too for sure so you know, at the end of the day, the process might be wrong, but if you ride or die with it, at least you know that it was the process that was wrong and it wasn't you. For sure. You know, yeah. I, again, we I just had this conversation with one of our girls at the group class last week. I said, you're your own worst enemy. Mm-hmm. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Just follow the plan. Mm-hmm. Follow the plan. Yeah. If you don't follow the plan, you're not going to get to where you want to yeah. be. Yeah. You know, bottom line. Well, how do you fix what you're not? That's right. You, you like you can't poke holes if you're the hole. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, that's right. Yeah. You know, because that comes back to you know we'll, we'll kind of tie this into you know your check in the, uh, the last week where you were just like I just don't feel like I'm three weeks out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, look at your pictures from when you were three weeks out from Georgia. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're like, right, coach. I know. Like you look better now. So yeah. you know. And that was my response. Where I was like. Oh, good call. Good call. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for that reality. Yeah. 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 So that's why we take all this data. That's yeah. why we keep all these stats. We keep the pictures, not even just the numbers, but the pictures right. too. Because when we fed you into Georgia, you ended up being on stage in Georgia, one pound heavier, mm-hmm. but looked completely different. Yeah. The muscle was back and yeah. that was just filling you back out. Yeah. So again, going back to, you didn't lose the muscle when you were going into, into Nashville. Mm-hmm. You just didn't have it filled out. Yeah. You didn't have the food to support it, mm-hmm. you know, and that's, that's the biggest thing. A lot of times this is just about little tiny tweaks. It's not about reinventing the wheel. Yeah. You know, we did change your training. We yes. changed a lot of things. Yeah. We changed a lot of things going into Georgia. Um, but but it's stuff my body needed. Like, yeah. It was craving this, like this adjustment. This, yep. 
designated like very specific type of rest days, yep. you know, specific recovery, specific prep and priming before training and how to work through the sets, like literally life changing. Yeah, you know? absolutely. And it's just like you start having those those little eureka moments mm -hmm. and you're just like, oh, mm -hmm. that's what it's supposed to do. No. Oh, OK, I get it. Got it. Yeah. All right. Well, so now the worst part is going to the gym and seeing like other people train. I'm like, hmm, what do they think they're doing? <laughs> I don't want oh, anything and I, I just know. keep my head down but I'm like it's hard <laughs> it's like they don't know what they don't know yeah well been there right yeah. and still there like I don't know everything right same um, same we're always no we're I don't know everything so we're always still adjusting things yeah. you know we're always still trying to find new things like we talk I talk about that all the time with the body like we have the coaching calls twice a week mm -hmm. we're it's always educational it's always there's new things to try maybe it works maybe it doesn't yeah you know but you're not gonna know unless you try it out right. unless you unless you work with it you know if you just always do the same thing you're just always gonna stay the same or get worse because things don't yeah. respond the same way yeah you know, you, you can, you can deplete diets all you want. At some point your body's going to fight you. Mm -hmm. Right. Which I believe is what was happening to your body this past oh, week. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I said, listen, we're going to keep the cardio steady, but what we're going to do is we're going to start feeding you. Mm -hmm. So I want to see what you look like at the end of the weekend. Yeah. So, um, you've been in prep, like I said, since, since April, you had a really <laughs> like really depletion kind of prep to start. Yeah. So that's hard on your body. You know, it's not, it's not easy. So we have to remember that we have to remember, okay, we got to give your body some, some, some care too, mm -hmm. you know? So <clears throat> what we're doing now is for the next three days, I have you carving up. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see her in person. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> more carbs, more sodium every day. Yeah. Um, and just increasing it almost like we're going into a peak week. Uh, cause we've got two weeks till then yeah. later. So I'm going to see her in person on Sunday so I can see how that actually affected her and mm -hmm. how that actually, if it filled her out, if it tightened her up, if we need to do something else. Yeah. Um, my hope, cross your fingers, is that it fills you out and then I can pull some cardio back next week and we can kind of find a medium middle ground for those carbs and things mm -hmm. like that. But this is, this is if your body responds the way I hope it will. Yeah. If it doesn't, then we go back and we look at, okay, what, what else can we do to yeah. kind of re readjust this? Because when it comes down to it, your upper body and your lower body are in shape. We're mm -hmm. just looking a little bit tired through the mm -hmm. midsection, mm -hmm. you know? And for a lot of women, this is where we see it. You know, we either see it in the hamstrings and glutes or we see it in the midsection. That's when your body's starting to get tired. Yeah. Okay. So um, when you do that, you have to give some sort of rest. You have to give some sort of rest. And in this scenario, we're giving rest through more food, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then the hope is, like I said, that next week we can pull cardio down a little bit and just kind of cruise. That's the yeah. hope. Um, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah. We'll figure something else out. If she responds really well, which a lot of people, what will happen is you give them a carb boost and all of a sudden their metabolism lights up and they start dropping weight really fast, then we can feed you more, mm -hmm. you know? I'm giggling, but I'm like, oh God, that sounds exhausting too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you before we turned on, you know, filming, I was yeah. like, I was, went to bed so excited, ready to eat. Then I woke up this morning and ate and I was like, I don't want anything else. <laughs> I'm done. You know? See, and I'm on the opposite side of that. Like as much as I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. I'm eating 220 grams of carbs a day. Yeah. It's ignited my hunger signals. Oh. So it feels like I'm kind of like in a reverse diet right mm -hmm. now. So mm -hmm. I'm hungry all the time. Damn. All the time. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm going to get that girl a race I'm almost like, can we just pull this back so my hunger goes away? Like, I fucking hate being hungry all the time. But I get it. Same thing. I yeah. mean, I, you know, I started dieting, what, like a month after you did. Yeah. So. But you were at like 2,300 okay. calories right, to yeah. start. I never even started there. Yeah. 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 And again, going back to, I mean, that's going to be our strategy once we get you into an off season is mm -hmm. to build up those calories, keep the, the body composition in a good place so that you feel good and you look good at the same time. Yeah. Um, and again, going back to, I love being able to do this with you because you actually trust the process and you do it because you know too, that if something isn't going right, I'm going to adjust it for right. you. So I'm paying attention to all those things. Like I, you know, as we're carving you up, I have you taking pictures and videos for me every morning so I can see what those carbs are doing for you every day, not just you know, what you look like on Wednesday and what you look like on Sunday. Right. I want photos and video evidence every day. Yeah. So that way I can see, okay, maybe we hit a sweet spot. You know, maybe that maybe Friday is going to be our sweet spot. Mm -hmm. We don't know that though. If we don't have any evidence to look at. Mm -hmm. Right. So those are the kinds of things that I want to see. And nothing is ever the same twice. So it's not like that. If we hit a sweet spot on Friday, that's going to be perfect gonna next week. Right. You know, that's not the case. However, it's again, it's again, more data. Because again, when you go back to like what you were saying, I don't feel like I'm three weeks out. Well, we have data from when you were three weeks out mm -hmm. and you look better now. So mm -hmm. 
you know, yeah. those are the kinds of things that she we like, back Psh, in. Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> Sit down and listen to me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but, you know, the, the other part of that, too, is that you have access to that data, too. Yeah. But I didn't have the thought process. Right. But no, but my point is, is that you don't have to just trust me. The evidence is there. It's true. It's your resources, you know, yeah. Yeah. tools, right. systems. Exactly. <laughs> so Thank you. Those, <laughs> right, yeah. those things are important because yeah. that settles your brain and you're like, oh, okay, so yeah. I actually am making progress. I actually am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. My body's not freaking out on me like yeah. I think it is. Because a lot of times, again, going back to um, sometimes the only thing we have is, you know, numbers on a scale. Mm-hmm. And numbers on a scale lie. Like they do in this sport, they lie. They don't. They're not. They're not the be all end all. Right? I was like one night you had me get on the scale and it was like one forty seven, and then mm-hmm. I got on the scale the next morning and it was like one forty two. Yeah. Like yeah. What? While I was sleeping, man, where yep. did it go? You know, like stress, well, it's never there. Sodium, hormones, yeah. all that stuff. Like, like you know, a couple weeks ago I had pizza and I knew that my sodium was high, so I knew the next day I was going to be holding water. I may have just started foaming at the mouth when you said pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, right. But anyway, uh, well, the pizza fit into my macros. The sodium, yeah. the sodium did not, you know. So it's like it is what it is. But I knew if I woke up the next day holding water, it was because I had extra mm-hmm. sodium, and that was the case. I was holding two extra pounds by the following day. That was gone. Yeah. You know, so again, having data and understanding what those data points are helps mm-hmm. you right here more yeah. than anything else. For sure. So and understanding what the mechanisms are doing, you know, if you're having digestive digestive issues, maybe it's you don't have enough fiber mm-hmm. or maybe you're eating something different that you weren't eating before. So now we have to take that out, whether it's, you know, you have an issue with artificial sweeteners, bloating your low, low <laughs> tummy, you know, I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> which that's not a problem in yeah. normal days, but when right. we're getting close to a show, we have not to control option. the controllables. So especially if we know that when I'm exhausted, she shows up in the tummy tummy. That's right. You you know, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, we take all these things into account as we're, as we're building your plan. And this is why it has to be individual too. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's not cookie cutter. You know, there's, there's multiple ways to skin a cat, but it's more so how that actually affects your body yeah. because it, it, it doesn't affect everybody the same. I do okay with the, the sucralo sweeteners. I have mm-hmm. no problem with that. But if I have to do anything that's like the, the OL, like I've mentioned before, I can't go to the bathroom, you know, yeah. stuff like that. I used a liquid carb up in order to in order to go into the last show, so I didn't bloat with my stomach and blow mm-hmm. out my stomach. So that worked out great for me. For some, say, that yeah, worked really well. For some other people, they have digestional digestional distress with that. I did not. Mm-hmm. So you know, everybody's gonna be a little bit different, and you got to test these things. You got to try these things, and that's where data comes into play. Yeah. So, um, so going back to so we're going into Ben Weeder. Um, you've done this show every year. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was my. First so first year competing was 2021. Mm-hmm. That was my second bikini, second time on stage in bikini. Mm-hmm. Um, and you started in wellness. So just to give you an, you guys for an idea. Effect. Yeah, wellness has changed a lot since 2020. It's changed a lot since 2020. <laughs> However, she has a lot of muscle. Yeah. And she has she has some bigger quads, that kind of thing too. So at the time well, compared to those girls. <laughs> At the time, it was the right decision. Yeah. At the time, it was the right decision. So again, going back to like when they're saying, and you're stepping on a bikini pro stage, and they're saying, where did her muscle go? Uh huh. Yikes. Yeah. You know so that was April 2021. Was my wellness? Was that 2021 or was it 2020? 2021 because it was 2020. Oh, that's right. Because all the shows. Yeah, that's right. That's, right. that's right. That's right. That's right. All the shows were were canceled in 2020. At that yeah. Time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and that's when I had just started, like, I had acquired my coach at the time just to get healthy. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, Ooh, who's that girl? Her clothes So talk about that a little bit. Talk about that a little bit. Well, I, mean, I grew up a dancer, so I knew what I should do and how I, sh- how I should look, you know, mm-hmm. to feel my best. Mm-hmm. Um, and then COVID happened and we had, you know, virtual happy hours every day. And- so is that where you put all the weight on was during COVID? Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. She got real sloppy. Yeah, oh. I got up to, I shouldn't say that, but I got up to 210 210 wow. pounds yep um april of 2020 so that was a really was rapid fine. weight gain mm-hmm. wow okay yep. i didn't know that yeah yeah she was a thick um but i wore it well because i'm taller you know no i carried it well i should say and then i dressed for my body and i was very mindful of how i presented myself um but i knew when those clothes came off what was under there yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah i started um just working out following a meal plan and by the holidays, so I started at 210. By the holidays, I was down to 180, 185, okay. which 
was still very large for yeah. me. I was never over like 165 okay. my whole life. I'm the same. Um, but I felt good again. So I was like, okay, we can live here. Like I'm comfortable here. And the coach at the time, he was like, well, let me talk to you about, you know, maybe you'll do a, a competition. I, I told you day one when we had our consult, cause my sister used to compete. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yep. I was like, and she, he coached her. So that's how I met him. Mm -hmm. um, but I was like, I told you day one in our consult that I was not going to put on a bikini and walk across the stage in them stripper heels. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she used to be a backup dancer for Beyonce. So come on. Oh, ridiculous. Uh, but it just wasn't my ministry. It wasn't my jam. Like I just, there was nothing about it that like was appealing to me. I enjoyed watching it, but I didn't want any part of that. Yeah. Uh, it's like, I told you, I just want to look good in my clothes again. That's yeah. it. And I did. So I was fine. And then two weeks later, I was like, so tell me more about this wellness thing you mentioned. <laughs> and then we went. Yeah. So we started prep right after we started yeah, I guess I should say we started prep right after your cuties event that mm -hmm. year because I had just missed that. That yes. was in, was that January? January? That was January. It was January. Mm -hmm. February was the posing clinic. Yes. That was the first time that I stepped on a stage in, you know, our posing field. Right, right, right. The victory in posing. Uh-huh. Okay, got it. Uh -huh. so we do a free, we have a free clinic here every every year with the with the NBC. Yeah. So that was a, that was a that yeah, was. usually it's President's Day weekend or the weekend before. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Um, so yeah, so that was my first like exposure to bodybuilding. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so wellness was April, 2021 was my wellness debut. And then while we were in prep, we we're like, well, might as well just try bikini next yeah. time and see what the feedback is and then figure out where to go. Right. Mm -hmm. Like take a very long time to put on the appropriate muscle to be comparable to these wellness girls yeah. or see if wellness or see if bikini is your jam. Right. So did whatever the show was in Baltimore. Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did that. Did well. Didn't win the overall. Won my class. Didn't win the overall. But I had a ball. Like yeah. felt so comfortable in that style of posing and presentation. Um, and then maybe it was a month, six weeks later. Something like that. Four to six weeks later was Ben Weeder. Right. Um, so yeah, competition number two, fortunate enough to win my pro card mm -hmm. in masters. It was 35 and over that I wanted. Yes. In. Um, and so since that every year we've gone back. So 2021, 22, 23, this will be my year. fourth year. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah, yeah, yeah. anniversary of winning my pro it's card. It's crazy how much that show has changed too, mm -hmm. because when she won her pro card in order to win your pro card in masters, you had to win your class and win the overall. Mm -hmm. Was it? Two high classes in, thir in 35 or was it three? Two. Okay. It was two. two. So she won the overall in 35 and over. So that gave her her pro card in, yes. in Ben Weir. So Three classes. I was going to say, I thought there was three. three. There were I was three. Just, I thought right. there was three. Yep. Okay. Um, so regardless, she yep. won a pro card. So um, after that, so the you didn't do a pro debut until the next year, right? Yeah. And it was Weeder. Yeah. So it was a whole year. Yeah. And I did not do, like, I didn't do what I was supposed to do for that reverse, like, she got sloppy. You know what I mean? Like the things we wish we would have done. And yeah, we're always yeah, told yeah. like, yeah. reverse is so important. You yeah. need to, you know, body composition. I was like, that's ah, fine. We're going to yeah. eat and drink. And yeah. Um, still training hard, but yeah. I wasn't doing the diet part to the T. Um, but yeah, so then we came back, did Weeder as my first show of mm -hmm. 2022. And then Atlantic Coast. Yep. That was a seven week period. So I was like, I just wanted to be here already. Yeah. Um, oh, my sweet spot that. is I like four that. max six weeks yeah. between shows. No, I agree with that. Like this, you know, and I'm not, I, I'm not suffering right now between the two shows, but it's just like, I, it feels like five weeks. Like you're just like time. ready. I'm like, can I go? Yeah. Can I get on stage right yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> like, That's totally yeah. how I felt yeah, for yeah, Atlantic yeah, Coast. Yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. let's go. No, not yet. Three more weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So then first full year of being pro did those two shows. Um, not so hot at Weeder, placed fourth at Atlantic Coast. Yep. Right behind um, um Jessica. Yeah. yeah. Jessica, Ashlyn, and Romina. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was an experience. Mm -hmm. Like I was on Cloud Nine. In my mind, I won. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I get on stage, I'm like, I won. Yeah. hundred <laughs> <100%. laughs> percent I can literally be last call. I'm like, but I won. <laughs> hey, that's the right attitude to have. Yeah, you did. Like, no, it's true. Jen, you did it. Remember, oh gosh, um, I text you and I was like, I got 16th place. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> you were like, baby, that's called the C of 16. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, everybody got 16. Literally the world's <laughs> dumbest pro competitor and all the way. And I don't know anything. I'm still learning so much. She's um, laugh. That, that was you, this year. That, that was, was yeah, in that was Georgia. That, I was no, like. No, no, that was at, that was at um, Nashville. Nashville, that's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Because you placed in Georgia. Too. Yeah, I yeah. did. Yeah. Get out of the sea. <laughs> Get out of the sea. <laughs> Which was a huge thing because that was yeah. a huge show. And you were what? Was it 12 or 13? 15, 15, well, whatever. Barely got out of the sea, but out of four call outs, you were on the top. You were in the top half, so yeah. that was good. Yeah. So it was like what it was thirty two competitors or something. Yeah, so, yeah. And Nashville was, was the same. It was yeah. like 31, 32. Yeah. So you know, yeah. what it is. Um, Regardless, so it was still really good. And the thing yeah. you got to remember too, guys, as we've been talking about with Ben Weeder, she's a natural athlete. Mm-hmm. You know, so that that brings with Truly. it. <laughs> yeah, no, that brings yeah. with it its own challenges. It really yeah. does. So being able to stand up there and again take fourth place next to you know Olympians at a, at a show like that, place in the top half of a mm-hmm. show like that, like that's just it, it's it's a, it's saying something. Yeah, it really is. It really. Well, is. I think that's a, I think a part of why I come off every time. I'm like, I won. <laughs> hundred percent. I mean, you, like I, I say that all the time. Like we already know in this sport what we're stepping up there against. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So you got to be okay with it. Yeah. You, you can't, know? you can't complain about it. Yeah. You can't be upset about it. If you're upset about it, don't compete. Yeah. You know what I mean? So well, and I also don't go into those shows like wearing this title and announcing to everyone right. like I'm natural. Like no, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Like, are you nobody gonna, cares. Did you win or not? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. are you comparable or no? That's yes. Really exactly. All it comes down exactly to. Exactly right. You know, yeah. it's just, it's a nice little like pat on the back, you know, for myself mm-hmm. um, and knowing that I can go into weeder right. and, you know, be natural. And- well, and again, going back to you've been a dancer your whole life. Mm-hmm. So I try to tell people this to clients when they're first coming in, they see somebody like you and they say, well, she's great. She's natural. I can do this too. Yes, but you also have to realize she's been an athlete, a dancer, mm-hmm. her whole mm-hmm. life. Yeah. So that comes into it. Muscle maturity comes into it. Yeah. You know, Ashley Caldwell is another one. She's a D1 track athlete. Yeah. You know, there's there, most of these girls that have come up in the sport have started in some sort of collegiate sport mm-hmm. um, or military yeah. or something like that where they have the muscle density, they have the muscle built already, and then they're just reshaping it mm-hmm. for this particular, this particular sport. Mm-hmm. So always keep that in the back of your head, too. Have realistic expectations. If you've never done that, don't think that you can just go from never being an athlete to all of a sudden being a top pro competitor because it doesn't work like that. It just yeah. doesn't. Your body needs time to grow. Yeah, for so, sure. For um, sure. But anyway, where were we? We were talking about C of 16. So that year did, yes, that year did the two shows. Yeah. The next year only prepped for one show. We only did Weeder last year. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, yeah. that was... I messed up my tan. She wore wore greenies. Like, what was I thinking? I had never done that before. But like, I was don't wear underwear. You don't wear underwear to sleep. My first show, the wellness show, I slept with my hands on my stomach. So when I woke up, I had like hand marks on my tum tum, like just dumb stuff. But that was my first show, so like you know, yeah, but. To do that she last the year, morning, leader, when she like, sent me videos and stuff of her posing, I was like, "What's up with your tan?" She's like, "I wore my granny pants." Yeah, <laughs> and then I was like, "Can you guys try and even this out?" And then I just had mud butt. Like it was just uh, bad, but I wasn't even mad because I was just having fun. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? And there was nothing I could do to fix it. So, like, you know, at the end of the day, show day needs to be a good experience and a fun time. So it's like, yeah, I was kicking myself for fun sleeping wearing my granny panties. <laughs> Oh, uh, but at well, the same time, eh. well, like last year too, I mean, you, you went on that vacation to Greece and everything that was last year, right? So <laughs> drink a bottle of wine a day. <laughs> <laughs> so that going back up. to personal accountability, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you can't be mad about the decisions that you yep. made, you know? So you knew you were pushing hard to get into yeah. that show. So, yeah. it, you know, you've had a lot of really like tough preps. Yeah. So the way that you manage your off season really Mm -hmm. indicates how your on season is going to go. Yeah. Well, and that was because I learned, you know, two kind of bad reverses, so to speak, you know, they weren't totally treacherous, but they were not right. Yeah. Um, this past year coming into this year's prep. So the last improvement season, I maintained a very, a much tighter Mm -hmm. physique. Um, now, when you say tighter too, tell tell everybody like how much weight did you put on? How much? How many pounds um, would you say? 
I think my highest in my off season last year or improvement season was like 168. I didn't go over 170 ever. And you get on stage at what weight? 144. Well, this well last, that was the last yeah. 143. What was that last time? I think it was 143. Yeah, because I think your lowest was below 140 is when yes. you went into, into Nashville. That was yeah. too low. Yeah. So you so guys. It's the 142 to 144 range. Yeah. Safe to say on stage. So if you yeah. think about that, we're looking at, you know, a good close to 20 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Almost 20 16, pounds. 18 pounds. So there's nothing wrong with that if your frame can sustain it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I looked good. As I, I say, you never, you never look like you're out of shape. Yeah. So it's, again, going back to body composition makes a whole lot more difference than weight itself. Yeah. Right? So you got to know what your body can handle. So don't feel like you've completely screwed everything up if you've put mm-hmm. 15 pounds on because you may need that. Yeah. Your body may actually need that in order to be healthy. Yeah. You know? So. And now at this point, I'm like... I, said this to you in my check and I was like, I'm just ready to see my body normal again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to be normal Understood. again. <laughs> yeah. I understand that. It's 100%. all fun to like see all this stuff, but like, yeah, like it's cool. It's a fun science experiment. Yeah. Like even like I was looking at videos and stuff from the, from when we went to drawing you links, we both mm-hmm. ended up being, being there at the same time, but I was like, Oh, you like see where my glute like ties in right? the hamstring. I was like, Oh, that's really cool. Right? You like, like see your glutes. Yeah. And I'm like, Oh, hey, there she yeah, is. Yeah. Like that's fun. That's fun to be able to see. But at the same time, it's like, okay, I'm ready to not have that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I want a little fat in my yeah. face. Mm-hmm. Like I see, I, I see her. Like, oh, can this fill fill back out, mm-hmm. please? Can we? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yeah, I notice like how like thin my skin looks. Yeah. Like, well, I notice um, for me, it's always the veins. Oh yeah, I've got a it's always the veins one up here. Yeah, it lives. I don't know. It'll show up someday. Yeah. Um, <sighs> but yeah, but I would. I mean, I was comfortable all of my improvement season yeah. last year. Um, so much so that when I started working with Dwayne, the trainer. Um, I started with him in February and told him I was doing a 20 week prep. And he was like, but you got abs right now. What you yeah. need 20 weeks for? I was like, we've always needed 20 weeks in the past. Yeah. You know, Cause we did because I didn't keep a certain mm-hmm. composition, yep. you know? Yep. Um, so yeah. So here we go. Yep. Show three. And that's ideal for me. Like I'd rather do three shows. Like yeah. my plan okay. this year was two to three max. Yep. Um, because I knew it was going to be a long year, you mm-hmm. know? Um, and then, of course, the financials of it, too. Like, right. It's expensive <laughs> sport. People think it gets cheaper when you're a pro. It does right. not. Right. It does not. They're like, like oh, worse. so you're sponsored? Well, fortunately, yes, my suits are sponsored. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I don't got to pay for my hotel. No, wait, wait, my hotel, <laughs> my travel, my supplements, all the chicken I'm eating. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, people like, don't realize it gets more expensive as a Backup pro. stage shoes. Backup this. Back up that everything. We're both psychopaths, so we have to learn one from the best. Like you always have to have multiples of everything because you never know what's gonna you happen. Know. You know, like when we drove to Georgia, fit everything on the on the one car. It looked like we moved we're in for a week. We're in for a day. Country. We're, we're like we're here for a total of two days. <laughs> Clips in video of the cart yeah, that right? we packed oh up. Oh my god, it was so bad. It was so bad. Oh, but hey, we had everything we needed. If anything went some. wrong, we had it. We had yeah. it covered. We got. We still had to go to the grocery store. And buy Stuff. <laughs> oh, oh in all fairness, we had to get our steps in that day. Yeah, so, we did. You know, we did. We, we, we did. A girl's got to shop wherever she goes, that's even right. if it's just to get some almonds. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and go see puppies through the door. Oh my gosh, that was such a moment. There was a, there was a pet store. They were not open, so we were looking at the, at the dogs through the, through the window. <laughs> I was like, can you open just so we can pet them, please? Yeah. There was a worker in there feeding them or whatever yeah. they were doing. So it looked insane. Anyway, mm-hmm. so we did Georgia. We're going into Ben Weeder. So mm-hmm. we're, you know, two weeks out from Ben Weeder at this point. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go into a reverse. So yeah. one of the things that I asked you to start thinking about is how you want to manage your food. Yeah. Like with, with, still with processing reverse. that. I know I want to go up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Clearly. right away. Clearly. Um, I don't know if I want the like freedom of an untracked yeah. situation. Yeah. Cause I'm afraid I'm going to fill that untracked with sugar yep. and sugar is a drug. Mm-hmm. And it's just, and it then, makes the hunger worse. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So one of the things, and this is what I was saying, I feel like I'm in a reverse diet mode right now. Mm-hmm. It's not as bad as when I was actually in a reverse diet last year, because when I was in the reverse diet last year, I had the free meals. Yeah. 
So I had the free meals every week where I it was an untracked meal. I could go out to dinner with my husband, whatever. Mm-hmm. Right now, um, what my coach did is just bump everything up. Still, everything is tracked. Mm-hmm. So for me, that's actually been working really, really well because my body, obviously, my body composition stayed really good. Yeah. Um, so I'm going into another show, but I want to do that for my actual reverse too. Yeah. For a few reasons. A, the hunger hormones. I think that's a big deal. B, the body composition. Like I just, my, again, my body composition is, is really good right now. I could compete tomorrow if I wanted to. Quite literally. So going into reverse, I just feel like that's healthier mm-hmm. to stay in that zone for me and for, you know, whoever just decides to do that. Yeah. Um, because I'm not putting on a lot of weight really fast. Right. You know, going back to, I, I do want to gain weight, but I want it to be healthy weight. I want it to be healthy body fat. I want it to be healthy muscle, mm-hmm. things like that, and not just spike up with inflammation. Yeah. Because the problem with untracked meals is, like you said, it's like a drug. You just yep. want more, you want more, you want yep. more. And you carry a lot of inflammation. Like I was saying when I had the pizza, like I know that the sodium was over. So that's inflammation. And people don't realize inflammation is the number one killer of people mm-hmm. just in general because mm-hmm. the inflammation around your joints, your heart, your lungs, your muscle, all that stuff. Inflammation is the silent killer. Yeah. So, you know, the more that we can mitigate that, the better. Yeah. Um, but some people just want that freedom of being able to go out with their spouse, with their friends, whoever, coworkers, and just not think for, for a night. Yeah. Which is fine too. Yeah. Which mentally, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, mm-hmm. I'm mentally exhausted of such, like, mm-hmm. I don't want to use the word restrictions, but like the lack of freedom, yeah. basically. Like, yes, there's freedom because we do macros, right. but there's still not that much freedom because mm-hmm. you're not having whatever form of macros you want. Right. Yep. Like it's still very, very structured. Yep. Um, so like, I'm just kind of, I'm tired of that to an extent, mm-hmm. but who knows once I get through the show, I might not be tired yep. of it and be like, okay, let's get right back. Yeah. We're yep. good. Um, but knowing how I am, maybe my free meal, if I do that route is the day before check-in so that I can't yeah. go down a True. spiral, you know, like, and that's just knowing yourself. Yes. Correct. Right? And, your and only, and only you food. can, only yeah. you can determine that kind of thing. Cause, right. Cause you're right. The, where you're at, where you're at right now is where I was last year coming into my reverse. I was mm-hmm. like, I just don't want to track anything for, mm-hmm. for a night. I just don't want to track it. Mm-hmm. So for me, that worked last year. And who knows? I might feel that way once I get out of the December show, cause it's yeah. still another, you know, five weeks away. So I might feel that way. But I don't feel that way right now. Yeah. You know, to me, it's like, okay, if I want to go out, like, like Dan, my husband will say something like we're going to, we're going to a movie tonight, late night movie. He's like, so make sure you plan in your macros for your popcorn, yeah. you know? So you that's what I'm popcorn. doing. I'm still going out. I'm still having my popcorn and yeah. it's still on plan. Yeah. You know, and like I said, because my macros are so much higher right now, I can fit those things in there mm-hmm. where I couldn't fit it in before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's, 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 you have to kind of figure out your own, your own um, threshold, I guess. Yeah. And knowing how I responded last year versus how I'm responding this year, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with this plan that we're doing right now once we get out of the December show, just mm-hmm. because I just feel a lot better. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, and that's the interesting thing too, like even coming out of the last show, like yeah. after eating, not like a total asshole, but you know, yeah. eating poorly yeah, like the should. day after. Oh yeah. yeah and then like once should. you get back in the routine, like even just two days later, you're like, oh my God, your lifts feel better yeah. again. Your sleep, like everything is just right. Yep. You know, I thought that because when I got home, clear. we drove home from Georgia on Sunday and we got home, Dan was there with like ice cream and sushi oh, and all this yum. stuff. And I was like, it's midnight, but I'm eating all of this. Because <laughs> well, you're wide awake at that point. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. All your luggage. And yeah. Yeah. So I did. Yeah. I had, I had the sushi. I had ice cream. I had cookies. I had all that stuff. And I, I was like, it. whatever. And then the next day, you know, I woke up like seven pounds heavier the next day, oh, whatever. Wow. Uh, but I felt like shit, yeah. you know? So it was like, I, I, I was like, I was sluggish all day mm-hmm. long, all of that. So mm-hmm. I was like, well, I don't even want to eat anything anymore. Yeah. You know? So. <laughs> got and then, it out of the system. Yeah, got it out of the system. Went right back on my plan on Monday. Didn't have any slip ups at all. And yeah. I was just like, all right, this is cool. Like I, again, I just felt more level and more mm-hmm. even that mm-hmm. kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, so we'll figure all that stuff as we go along. But um, so you've done. One real show prepping with me, you know, what yeah. was, yeah. what do you think were, were like the, the differences? Between... Um, just an incredible attention to detail. Yeah. I mean, that's the Virgo in me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I didn't have to ask questions. Mm-hmm. Like I, there was no 
no extra conversation around anything. It was just, okay, you're going to do, uh, 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 uh. yeah. And I was like, okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> like yeah. that's it. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, yeah. And just doing, you know, literally eating the same. I think that's one of the big things that I'm, I'm still adjusting to, but like making sure that my food is, you know, split pretty evenly throughout the day. Sodium is split evenly throughout the day. Water is taken in even throughout the day. So that way come show day, it's like, okay, it's easier for me to adjust what's things. your next meal? And so we'd be like, well, sometimes I eat like, no, 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 no. Right. What is meal two? You know? So like yes. getting that, um, that's been really huge help. Yeah. Huge help. And then easy to fluctuate when we start adding these things like 20 extra carbs here, 20 extra carbs there, pull down fat there, increase fat there. It's just an easy man manipulation because the foods are so set. Yep. You know? That's right. Um, so that's been really great. And I think that's something that people have a misconception about when it comes to macros. So every client that I work with is on macros. However, as we get closer to the show, it's, it's a meal plan. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the good thing about this though, is that you have found the foods that agree with you the best. Yep. You've paired them up how you like to pair them up. Um, and that's, that's the beauty of doing macros mm -hmm. because I'm not sitting here saying you have to have chicken right or you have to have asparagus or you have to have rice maybe that's not the best thing for you mm -hmm. you know i just had one of my clients check in and she said she just just randomly she ran out of chicken so she did mahi mahi instead of chicken she's like and i felt like the mahi mahi wasn't as heavy in my stomach mm -hmm. she's like so maybe we could do that going i said yeah absolutely i said if you feel better on that food yeah that's what we want to use 100 yep. you know and that's the beauty of doing macros because again you can find those things that work best for you mm -hmm. but again when we get close to a show consistency is yeah. always king yeah always 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 the more consistent you are the more we can manipulate things evenly mm -hmm. and easily mm -hmm. so there's no more guesswork yeah. when it comes to that. Yeah. So by the time we get to the last few weeks, you really are eating the same thing yeah. every every meal, every day. Yeah. Like I know this weekend is my last weekend of eggs and yogurt. Yep. And not because of any like digestional issues or anything, but we just, we pulled it last mm -hmm. time. We're doing we pulled it. Pulled it again this it time. It worked. So why, why change it? it? Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Jinx, you owe me yeah. a <laughs> <All right. laughs> So, you know, that's that's the beauty, again, of doing these kinds of things. Because it's not about, macros is not about just fit whatever you can into your numbers. It's more fit what is going to work best for you into mm -hmm. your numbers, you yeah. know. And it's not that you have to start that way. Right. Your off season is where you start playing with those things. And you find those things that work for you. And you find those things that are inflammatory. You find those things that you like to eat and you don't like to eat. Mm -hmm. And then once you get into prep, it's really easy easy to shift those gears. Yeah. It's really easy to make those changes to become more and more consistent. Yeah. You know, a lot of people get overwhelmed thinking, oh, now I got to track my sodium. I got to track my fiber. I got to track this. Yeah. Initially, it that, was an yeah, overwhelming thought. Initially, sure. it sounds like a lot. But yeah. Then, but once you get on a routine, it's like, oh, this isn't that bad. Yeah. Okay. Dish out that for the day. Yeah. Boop. I only pull from that little container. Yeah. Simple. I mean, if you think about it with everything in life, when you have systems and processes in place, that's how you obtain goals, mm -hmm. whether it's in work, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, when you're traveling to your, to your job, like systems and processes, even using the GPS, yes. you know, things like that. Times you leave your house, times you don't, you right. know, all of that stuff, there's systems and processes. It's the same thing when it comes to your diet and your training. Yeah. You know, you put the systems and processes in place. Yeah. Just had this conversation with one of my clients yesterday. She's had a life change. Her kids are off to college, mm -hmm. you know, all this kind of stuff. She's like, now the things that they used to do, like walking the dogs in the morning, I have to do. I was like, well, start creating a more, more even plan. I used yeah. your, your example of the four quadrants of the day. Uh huh. I was like, you know, create quadrants of your day. Yeah. And this is where you do those things. And then at that point, you know, you get them done during that quadrant or they don't get done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you have to get them done. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, just creating systems and processes for your prep. Is, yeah. is the only way to do it, first yeah. of all, because if you've got a normal functioning life as a human adult, <laughs> you, you have to do that. Life happens. <laughs> you have to do that. Yeah. And you don't want to be caught with your pants down. Oh, God, no. Like, I know on days that I'm going to be slammed, I have got to get as many steps in. Like, if I'm doing a lot of showings or, you yeah. know, between appointments and a lot of time in the car. Yeah. Because last thing I want is for it to be 730 at night and I'm at 3,000 steps and my goal is 11. Like, how the hell am I going to get an 8,000 steps? Yep. And yeah. I'm the girl that has to go to sleep, like, hitting the number. Yeah. I'm not going to wake up and let it roll over because yeah. then I just feel like the weight of the world is on me. And I'm like, oh. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I just, I bang out what I can in that first part of the day, That's right. you know, and that way if I end ahead, then I'm ahead, but yep. at least I'm not playing catch up. Yep. Well, and going back to what you just said too, is recording accurately to your coach is important as mm -hmm. well. I'll use myself as an example. My step goal is 10K a, mm -hmm. a day. That's my step goal right now. I did not even come close to hitting that this week. It was like eight, eight, six, six, five or something yeah. was my average. But my weight didn't go up. Right. I didn't lose my conditioning, all that kind of stuff. So if I just said, oh, I hit 10,000 a day. No, I didn't. I hit eight, eight, six, six. Maybe that's all I need. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. all I need is 8K. Maybe I don't need 10K. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so those are things that you communicate to your coach because just because it's a goal doesn't necessarily mean that that was the right thing. Yeah. You know, like 10K sounds good, but if I'm maintaining at eight, maybe all I need all is eight. All I need is eight. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It could be a good thing for you mm -hmm. to under to, to report what you did under or report what you did over, that too. Part. We have that conversation with people who like to eat off the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or Document just, it. and activity level too. Like I yeah. have a client now, she's getting she's getting harder by the day. It's because she's doing a lot of wow. activity. I was like, I have your your steps set at 10k. You're doing 15. Oof. I said, there's a problem there. I yeah. was like, you know, more is not better. Yeah, more is not better. I was yeah. like, I really. So I knocked her down to 9k. I was like, I really need you to stay on this step. That's goal. <laughs> a hard thing to remember too. The more is not better because yeah. I think I had to check myself this week on my like back build day because I felt. Great. My energy yeah. was hitting and I was thriving. I was like, yeah. I could pull more weight. I woke up sore as hell yeah. the next day. So I'm still sore two days later. Yep. Like my back is still sore. Yep. I'm like, girl, why didn't you, you, you knew you need to calm down. Mm -hmm. Like you got a show in two weeks. Your body should not be sore. Well, this is the case you know? even for lifestyle. I have a lifestyle yeah. client. She just, she's doing a ph phenomenal job. And I had her, she was a, she was a, oh, a work, a workout at home person. Uh -huh. So I had her get a gym membership and she, loved it Aww. which is fantastic i love that but she got overzealous and she's like i was having so much fun she's like i just kept going i wanted to try all the machines and she hurt, <laughs> and she hurt herself oh and i'm no. like i was like you got it i was like you got to take it one step at a yeah, time girl you so, <laughs> i know i was like i felt bad i was like that's great that you're yeah. so excited i said but you know your body's not used to it as well so you got to be careful you know yeah. those those kinds of things are going to happen so yeah. and she's still nursing that injury now a few weeks later and i'm just like oh girl but you know it's, she'll she'll get over it and yeah. she'll learn from it things like that too yeah. but that's why i say like more is not better mm -hmm. more is definitely not better mm -hmm. you know again going back to we're getting into those last three weeks of prep for last two weeks of prep for you coming up yeah. so we got to be careful of the more is more is not better yeah. you're already lean you know we got we got to make sure that we maintain that and we don't fatigue you so much that we lose that pop of that yeah. bonus that round is again why we're doing what we're doing this weekend yeah so I'm excited to see what this body looks like on yeah. Sunday. Yeah, we're not and we're not doing a huge carb up. No, it's, it's like very a each little day. bit each day. Yeah. You know, just to see if that extra pop. And again, going back to, I'm not swinging you on anything else. Right. We're keeping everything else the same for a reason. Yeah. I want to see if the carbs are what's going to do it. Yeah. You know, a little more sodium with each. Yes. Correct. Tiny bit more. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we want to see if that's what's going to help fill her out. And if it does, great. If it's not, then we got to pull. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start pulling cardio. We don't need any more cardio. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean yeah. stuff like that so just you know <laughs> okay well, and i'm only doing 40 minutes it's literally yeah yeah yeah, 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 like, yeah which yeah. is great yeah you know so it, it's it's so funny because you were saying that this when we dropped the cardio and then we started pulling it back up you're like oh no now i gotta slit it into two right, 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 right. And i'm like bitch 20 minutes <laughs> i'm like bro <laughs> that's not a lot I was like, you were doing 70 for like fucking four months. Come on I now. Know, I know. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh God. But I just got used to it. Know. You know? So. That's, I, that's something too. People ask me that question all the time because I've, I've been vocal about my, how my training has decreased like, uh -huh. in volume and things like that. And it's hard at first, mm -hmm. but you find ways to fill up the extra time. Yes. <laughs> It's called sleep. <laughs> it's called sleep. Scheduled naps. It's, it's called doing more work. Just that part, whatever, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so there's there's definitely ways around, you know. It's just, it's just again, it's changed the routine at yeah. that point. Yeah. So, you know. So ultimate goal, what is your goal for, for Ben Leader? What, what do you want to achieve? Right. Ben Doesn't everybody want to win? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love, I mean, that would be like, what? Yeah. Um. And then I just want first call outs. Like, mm -hmm. That's all I ever well, wanted. You got, you got just, first call it last year, right? I did. Yeah. 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 I did. Yeah. Um, in sixth. Yep. Right outside the money spot. I wanted top five. <laughs> but no, lies. I wanted first call out yeah. last year. Yeah. Um, 
and that was it. Yep. And so this year I want first call out and I want to be like, I want to be in the mix. Yeah. Like I want to, you know, I, and I try to keep you, you know, level headed. I mm-hmm. do think that you have the opportunity to win the show. I do think you have that, that in you, but we don't know what's going to happen. That exactly. Day. I don't know who's going to show up and how right. they're going to show up. I don't know how I'm going to show up. Yep. You know? And the other part of this too is that the judging panel is different this year. Completely. So yeah. typically, judge that I've never been in front of. Yes. Yes. Typically, it's it's um, uh, Becky, Becky and yeah. all that in there. So um, Tyler and Adela are doing it this mm-hmm. year. Which, as you guys know, if, we, if you've watched this at all, you know Tyler's really putting a big initiative out there to, to promote more natural shows, more yeah. natural pro shows, and just more natural shows in general. Mm-hmm. So he's taking you know taking the reins as far as judging this as well. Yeah. So that could work in our favor. It could work against us. We don't know. I mean, it's just a matter of, of who shows up. Oh, I like just that. got goosies thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love show day so much. Uh, it's going to be a fun show regardless. Yeah. You know, Even got... though it starts at 8 a.m. prejudging. I know. Why are we doing 8 a.m. prejudging? Um, Tall girls can't do 8 a.m. <laughs> just women in general, because we know. need the time for hair, makeup, all that stuff. But then you throw in the fact that we're tall. Like, we need to fill out. When do we start eating? Mm-hmm. The day before. <laughs> The day before, <laughs> wake up, eat, because yeah. you're not going to get a full night's sleep. You yeah, know that already. But at yeah. least, at least we know suppositories work. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> sure do. My mind was, like, was like, blown at the number of people who knew what that little thing was. Yeah. I did like a little Instagram story, and I was like, "Things are happening." <laughs> And so many people were like, is that what I think it is? And I was like, I don't know. What do you think it is? I had never heard of these things. I'd never used one before, so but funny. she worked. Well, I've never had any, I never have used one. I probably should have in the past. I've never used them for show for show week. And I knew what they were. Yeah. I've used them like, cause I've had, you know, when you're on painkillers for like surgeries and oh, stuff, I've used yeah. them for that, you know, but I, I, I haven't used them for competing before. So, yeah. but it is a, like a little secret weapon. Mm-hmm. So when we were in Georgia, so we, we swapped positions typically she's the one that can go to the bathroom all the time oh, and yeah, I three to five times a day yeah, but i was going three to five times a day and she was she was not going at all so, <laughs> so she got to she got to use the use the suppositories yeah. that i brought for myself that i didn't have to use so <laughs> yeah it's glorious glorious uh, so yeah we'll, we'll 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 employ those if we need to i mean frankly because word it's, choice yeah employ deploy right no but like Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. We're so back. we'll deploy those if we need those. Um, <laughs> because you know, frankly, if you don't get a full night's sleep, that yeah. could be an issue. It could yeah. be a real issue. So we'll 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 keep that in our back pocket mm-hmm. just in case. Um, frankly, if you if you have gone on Friday, I'm not going to have you do it. Yeah. So because um, we don't want to do that with the tan. That's that's a whole other, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need that. Um, so you know, it, but the the one thing you got to remember too, though, with an 8 a.m. pre judging is everybody else has an 8 a.m. pre judging as well. Yeah. So at least there's that. Mm-hmm. So you know, everybody's in the same boat. Yeah. So, you know, again, this is why we're collecting data now when we're the couple weeks out so that we can figure out what we can do best mm-hmm. for her her shape and her frame to make sure mm-hmm. she's nice and full and tight and everything yeah. at the same time. Well, and I guess it kind of works in my favor that I wake up at the ass crack of dawn yes. on a regular basis. Yes. So when I'm sending you these like fasted check-ins in the morning over this next few days, you're basically seeing where my body is. That's right. You know what I mean? That's so right. like I'm on schedule for what weeder schedule is. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? so. There's a method to the madness. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. So, you know, this is why we experiment this stuff. And it also goes back to why you want to be ready a few weeks out because then you can do this kind of thing and you can make sure you get your best, your best look yeah. and all of that. So, so goal is first call out at Ben Weeder. Yeah. Um, and not to sleep in granny panties. Yeah. And... No sleep in granny panties. No, no Just crazy have stuff. Fun. Have a good time. Yeah. It's Enjoy a the show. Yeah. So it's like the Tons DMV people, fit yes. fam, like so many pros that I know so many NPC girls that I'm going to yes. be able to cheer for. And, mm-hmm. So many of the cuties will be there. Like, it's just gonna, my family can come to this one. Like, yeah. there's just so much great about yes. doing the show in the backyard. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. I and love the traveling, but. Yeah, but they put on a great production, too, as yeah. far as, like, how the stage is set up and everything, yes. too. So, yeah. um, and we'll get some good feedback going into what we need to do for improvements. Yeah. yeah. Um, we got good feedback in Georgia, stuff we mm-hmm. already knew pretty much. Mm-hmm. And we've been working on the mobility with you yep. so that we can, you know, we can really get that, that front pose to hit. Cause I, mm-hmm. I, I've always said it. I was like, from the, from the back, you can stand up with the best of them. It's from nice. the front that we got it. We got to make sure yeah. that we get you into the right spot. She needs that pow, pow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So we've been working on that forever, you know? Yeah. 
So hopefully we'll be able to get that to, to really show off on stage. That's the, that's my goal for you is to really get that front post to show off. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if we can do that, I'll be happy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and I, and it, we're, that's why I got you. <laughs> I, we have, we have sponsorship through, uh, Be Belmont chiropractic. chiropractic. <laughs> so shout out What's to them. Dr. Jen? Yeah. Right. We shout out to them. They've been fixing us every, uh, every week. Every thank week. God. So yeah. I was like, I, I just need, I, I want to employ everything that we possibly can to bring you the best possible, the best possible chance. Yeah. You know, we can't, again, we can't control the judging, right? but we can control what we can control. Our controllables. Yeah. Right. So that's, sure. that's the goal going forward. Yeah. So if you could leave our behind the bikini listeners with one piece of advice, if they're, whether they're, they are competitors or they're thinking about competing or whatever, what's one piece of advice you could leave with them? I feel like it's so cliche, but just trust it. Mm -hmm. Just trust it and have fun. If it's not fun, why, like, why are you right. doing it? Right. You know, like, is it going to be hard and treacherous at times? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But there should be more good than there is bad. 100%. You know, 100%. I mean, that's also everything in life, I think. Yep. You know, work, family, everything. Yes. Um, relationships. There should just, you know, positive poly here. Like, I just, I like have fun. Well, it's about, know? you said it earlier, it's about shifting your mindset. Yeah. You know, like I think a lot of people get stuck in the sport and that negative, I'm going to suffer kind yeah. of thing. It's like, why? Yeah, but this is supposed to be fun. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's challenging. Yeah. There's a difference between being challenged and suffering. Mm -hmm. There's, there's a difference, mm -hmm. you know? And I think the people that have the best success in the sport or enjoy it the most are the ones that see it as a challenge yeah. to push themselves harder versus the ones that cry about it all day. Yeah. Time. Well, and I was just going to say that too, like, again, another cliche thing to say, but it really is you against you. Like right. it's, it sounds so corny, but that's the reality. It is. You know? So like for the competitors or, you know, those who come off stage and like, well, I should have, and I deserved, and I, this, and okay, well feel that way, but like save it for behind closed doors and yeah. put your pillow. You yeah. know what I mean? Like talk to your significant other about that. But yep. like, Everybody worked to get to the stage 100%. that day. Everybody 100%. had life smack them. Yep. Every day. Yep. Like, let that person's moment be their moment. That's right. That was their their moment yeah. of, you know, we say what luck is when opportunity and hard work meet, right? That's right. Mm hmm yeah. Let them live that. That's Yours right. will come too. You'll get it. You'll you get know? it eventually. The only, I tell people all the time, the only way you lose is if you quit. That part. You know, that's the bottom line. And this is one of those sports where, again, you can do it until you die, basically. <laughs> they have, they still have classes all the way up to like 70 years yeah. old. So you can quite literally yeah. continue to compete until you die. Yeah. So there's not a whole lot of sports out there where you can do that. It's true. And you're constantly looking to improve yourself. So yeah. remember that, that no matter what you're doing, the goal is to always to improve yourself. And as mm -hmm. long as you're doing that, you know, so you're going to have ups and downs. You're going to have those good days and those bad days. And yeah. that's just like with anything else in life, yeah. but you know, try to go into it. Like you said, with that positive mindset of, I want this to be fun. Yeah. Well, and I always look back and figure, how is this making the rest of my life better? Right. How is this enhancing everything else that I do and how I show up in the world? That's right. You know, it's not just about putting on the beautiful <laughs> custom bikinis. <laughs> I might know what you're about that. Maybe. I'm just saying. It was, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, but it's like, it's not just about show day. It's literally how does this play a part in your day to day yeah. and who you show up as. 100%. You know? Absolutely. Um, so yeah. That's why I love it so much. Show day is just the fun part. <laughs> All know? the fun stuff. Yeah. All the fun stuff. Right? Right? They're screaming for the girls, yeah. screaming for the guys. You know? We'd yeah. be in a different state and somebody announces that, you know, next competitor, blah, 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 from Upper Marble, Upper Marble, Maryland. I'm like, what? Yeah, right. I don't know them. But they're from Maryland. <laughs> they're from, That's they're from the DMV. DMV. You know? <laughs> yep. I know them. <laughs> or like, you know, in Georgia, when I'm on the side diagonal screaming for you, the, the chick standing next to me was the one that won the 40 and over. Uh -huh. for, and she's screaming for the girls on stage. She too. sure was. <laughs> oh, she was like total cheer mom on stage. I was like, okay, that, okay. She uh, is, she is, but it was great. Yeah, it was yeah, great yeah. to see, you know, and having that. Well, to be honest, with her yelling for everybody too, it made me feel comfortable to yell for you, like nice. from the from the stage. So I was like, well, she's doing it. I'm gonna fucking do it too. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I was 
was like, I'm going to tell her to twist. Like, she might not hear me, but I'm going to try. <laughs> but now I know. Yep. And Sean's ever on stage with me. Listen for Sean. Right. Listen, listen for Sean. Listen for Unless we're in the same damn lineup, and I'm like, well, I'm just fucked. I'm, like, yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to hear her in my head at that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yep. Oh, it's too funny. Okay, so... Guys, that will we'll, that will we'll leave it there. That'll yeah. be our, that'll be our our podcast. I feel like for we were like, yeah, we made it back. We made it back. Somehow, somehow we made it back. I feel like the viewers yeah. like Jordan, come back. I know, right? <laughs> I know, Jordan, we miss you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Jordan will be back next week. Nice. I hope. I hope she might. She might stay over there in Europe. Oh I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame her if she does do that. Now I wouldn't she's blame her get at all. Back to her dog. She'll yeah, be back. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So, um, so for with that, guys, if you have any questions or you want to drop a question for Jennifer or anything like that, feel free to drop it in the comments. Um, and if you haven't already, I don't know why you haven't. Just like, comment, subscribe, all of the things. With yeah, the buttons. Always do always do wherever. Do wherever, wherever your buttons are on your device. And uh, so this is episode sixty-two. We didn't actually name this, so we'll, I don't know what we'll name it, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get off off of the, the 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 podcast today. Episode sixty-two. Thanks for joining us again, and for myself and this Jennifer Lynch. Mm-hmm.